Hey, what's up, man? Welcome to DZ Suite in Sacramento, California, my hometown. Um, right now, we at this place called I Caramba. Uh, it is Peruvian food. This place is phenomenal. Um, it's real. It's really real. It's like cash only. It's an old lady in here. It's really. This is the real deal. I've never been to Peru, but this is close. If you never had Peruvian, you're missing out. It's the best food ever. I've only been to two places. This is way better than the other one. So uh, what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna take you in here and show you what to do. Yeah, so I found this place on accident uh, where, where I look at actually for Mexican food. Uh, this place is along the freeway, so I traveled up and it's right off 80, Sacramento. Thought it was Mexican food, walked in and said, no, we're not doing Mexican food today, we're doing Peruvian food. Never had Peruvian food. Sat down, had the meal of my life. I'm telling you the flavor is crazy. Um, definitely, definitely, if you can't make it here, find a spot in your city. It might not be as good as this one, but find a spot and go try it. Cause this right here, it's fire. Put the stamp on this one, this is it. First off, they got this drink. It looks like purple Kool-Aid, but it's not really Kool-Aid. It's called Chichi Maduro. I'm not sure that's how you say it. Let me ask my man right here. How do you pronounce the name of this drink? Chicha Mara. What is it? What's it's it? uh, made out of purple corn, pineapple, um, apples, cinnamon, and some clavos a lot. Man, this yeah. is my Doesn't it have like some health uh, benefits? Yeah, it has too? a lot of uh, antioxidants, and uh, the purple corn is considered a super fruit. And really? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Now, what's your name, bro? Again? Lenny. Lenny? Yeah. What's up, man? Thank you. I'm glad to be here, man. You're about to get it in. Yeah. DZ's. Let's drink up. What's up, y'all? I'm back. Welcome to DZ's. Uh, the food is here, as you can see. Uh, this is the Lomo Saltado. Lomo Saltado, it's uh, made with uh, white rice, french fries. Uh, the meat is sauteed with uh, red onions and tomatoes. This rice looks like it's plain, but it's definitely not plain rice. It's got some garlic in it, some different seasonings. It's phenomenal. Um, we're about to tear this up and uh, we're about to see what it really does. This right here, look at this. You don't get no better than this. Peruvian baby. Serious business. Matter of fact, cut it, cut it. Don't spot cut it. <laughs> oh god. Alright, what's that dish you mean to say? What is it? The, the salsa? Uh this was the normal saltado with the fries mixed in. Everything's cooked all together with steak, the onion, the french fries, the rice. Oh, it's amazing. The look on my face right now, I just had some hot sauce. Not a regular hot oh, sauce, okay. it's hot Very sauce. Uh, <clears throat> so I got eight fire. It's like somebody put fire on a spoon. I just ate a spoonful of lava. Right now, I can't feel my face. But uh, it's, it's good though. <sighs> Be careful out there, y'all. It's real. What's in this salsa? Is this habanero? Shoot. This food was amazing, but uh, what I did was I asked for the salsa, which is this stuff right here. It's a habanero and some other pepper from Peru. This has to be one of the hottest things I've ever put in my mouth. It's almost like eating fire. That's what it's like. It's like eating fire. Uh, I think it'll be okay if you never see me again. I just want y'all to know that I love y'all. I really care about y'all. But uh, this could probably be my last meal. It's probably the hottest thing I've ever eaten. I can't even feel my face right now. It's crazy. Look at my forehead sweat. One drop. Lights out. Oh my god. Water. Ambulance. Somebody called that ambulance. I might not make it, man. It's not good. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. 
Uh, I'm here with my boy Jimmy. This is restaurant here. The Peruvian food I had, I was just telling you all about. Uh, this is the man responsible for that. We started as a catering only like eight years ago, but we was nothing. People didn't hear about us. Well, I'm helping spread the word, man, because people need to know about this place, man. The only thing I have to ask you, man, is what is in that hot sauce? That hot sauce. Look at my hands. Uh, <laughs> the hot sauce. Is okay. The real deal. So the, the the hot sauce. It's a. Uh, it calls rocoto, frozen from Peru. It's imported, spicy. What we do to make it fresh, we add a habanero. Oh. So it catch up all the flavors again, like the spicy and the fresh flavor. We also have the ceviche too. That's one of the big dish from Peru too. So next time I'm gonna try that. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, thank you, man. Thank Thanks you for coming and talking to us, man. Your food is amazing, man. Uh, DZ. Chilling with Jimmy, best Peruvian food down, man. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That was amazing. Uh, well, DZ is in the building. DZ has exited the building with a very, very, very good Peruvian meal. Uh, thanks to my boy in there, Jimmy, who's holding it down. Uh, that was like one of the best meals I've had uh, this week. Not only that, it was the hottest hot sauce I've had. Uh, in my whole life, life changing hot sauce. Um, so, people, stay tuned, man. We're gonna bring you the best street cuisine, hole in the walls, kind of type of. Yeah, I can't even talk right now. The hot sauce has got my whole taste buzz. My tongue is all confused. I don't know what's going on, but check it out, DZ. That's what's up. This was amazing. I can run,